Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in aesthetics and we're going to solve this problem 9.60, okay? So it says, locate the center Y for the beam's cross-sectional area. So we have this beam that is a T beam and we need to find what will be the centroid, the Y location of this one. So the first question I have when I was trying to solve this problem is why they didn't ask me about what's the centroid in the x location and the reason why is that this is a symmetrical problem okay so if we draw the y-axis right in the middle we will realize that the x direction will be equal to zero okay so this is kind of like a little um this is millimeters in these units now they're asking us to find what will be the location in the x direction and in order to note that we're going to do the summatory of our centroids for each figure multiplied by the area and we're going to divide this number by the summatory of our area okay that way we have our centroid in the y location in order to solve this since these are figures that are rectangulars what we can do is that we can separate them by an amount of figures then we're going to for each figure we're going to find the area and after finding the area, we can also find the location of these rectangular shapes, the centroid. And then after that, what we can do is that we can multiply our y location times our area. And in this manner, we will have our required uh, values for this equation. So we will have the summatory of the multiplication and the summatory of my areas. Okay. So let's decide what will be our our figures and for this case i have chosen to be this my first figure this rectangular shape will be my number one and then we have this second figure that is also a rectangular shape and this will be my number two okay so we will have one and we will have two and let's just remember that we have to do a summatory at the end okay so let's start with my first rectangular shape so this one over here we need to find the area well for the area since it's a rectangle we just need to do the height multiplied by the base which is the addition of these three numbers okay so if we have the base will be 240 plus 120 plus 240 so these three guys in here and that gives me a total of 600 okay so our base is equal to 600. So this line is 600 millimeters. And we're going to multiply by height, which is going to be 120. And this multiplication will give me a total of 72,000 millimeters square, okay? Because it's an area. What will be the centroid in the y location of this part? Well, the center will be right in the middle in the x direction and right in the middle of this height, right? So we have that from here all the way to the beginning of my x-axis. In here, what do we have? Well, we got this 240 and we have half of 120. So we got half of this. So we have 240 plus half of 120. That will give me a total of 300. So we'll have 300 millimeters, okay? From, we're talking from this line over here okay so from here to here we got 300 millimeters now the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to multiply our 72 thousands multiplied by our 300 so we're multiplying the area multiplied by the y location and this will give us an equal of 2 1 6 and 5 zeros okay and these units should be millimeters cubed. Okay, so we're done with our first figure. The next figure we need to do is this other figure too. And in order to know the area, we're going to multiply the height, which is 240, multiply by the base, which is 120. So we got 240 times 120, and that will give me 28,800, so 28,800 millimeter cube its y location will be right in the middle of this 240 
So this is our height and it will be right in the middle of that. So it will be half of 240, which will give me 120. So we got 120 millimeters. Now what we can do, we're going to multiply this 28,800 by 120 and we will end up having three, four, five, six, one, two, three zeros. And this will give me millimeters cubed, okay? The last thing that we need to do in order to solve this problem, we're just gonna go and add our areas and add our multiplication, okay? So let's add our 72,000 plus our 28,800 and this will give me 100,800 millimeter cube. And then the addition of our multiplication, we're going to add this number plus this number, these two big numbers, and this will give me a total of 25056 zero 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 millimeter cube okay now we have our summatory of our y times a and now we'll have our summatory of a's so this is what we, we need we're going to plug these numbers in so we're going to have that this is equal to and then we're going to put in our 25056000 on top millimeter cube divided by our 100,800 millimeter square for our area. So if we do this fractioning here, we will end up with a total of 248.57 millimeters. So we found our centroid in the y location and from the beginning we stated due to symmetry our x location is equal to zero thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one